Good day everyone and welcome to day 272, turn 272 of your daily Civ 7 news update. We got a little short today and this little short was on resource management. At a glance, the biggest change to resources in Civ 7 is that they are now individually assigned to your settlements. Mostly. Bonus resources, for example, giving flat buffs, while luxury resources appear to grant more powerful percentage increases to the settlement they're placed in. However, secondary to this, there are also Imperial resources that provide net bonuses to your empire. As someone who's just come off the back of playing a fair bit of Ara History Untold, this seems awfully familiar, but a bit closer to home, if you did happen to play the Monopolies and Corporations game mode in Civ 6, you'll be quite familiar with how this feels as well. Aside from gaining these resources by improving the tiles that are on, as we're used to, you can also produce a merchant to establish a trade route with other civs. Once you establish that trade route with one of their settlements, you'll gain all of the resources in that settlement and be granted gold for the transaction. Short and sweet, that's all I've got for you today. I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.